All right, this is the book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 13, and it says, As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau has I hated. I want to give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. Shalom to you brothers out there that are laboring, enduring the elements, making your body a living sacrifice, trying to seal the elect, making your carnal election assured, seeking out your own salvation, as well as your sisters that are learning, listening, applying, being obedient to your husbands. Shalom, shalom. Again, it's the brother Zachariah coming back to you with another lesson, and Lord willing to be edifying unto you. And yeah, like I said earlier, you know, I was going to try to do at least two lessons because there is so much stuff going on like even with these two lessons uh the one i just i did earlier uh and then this one now it's still so much going on so it's like there's a lot of things to cover so i'm just trying to knock them out you know knock them on out all right so like i said we, hey, we lord willing we'll get through them because like i said you know you could do a lesson and you might thinking okay i'm getting everything caught up the next thing you know it just be like one or two days bam all kinds of articles all kind of things are coming out and you just and, and one of the things about it is being a man of the lord you're also a watchman okay so we're watching and and, and um seeing these things come out and transpire and we bring it out to our people because like i said you know our people may not know what's going on you know some people still depend on your local news which your local news is not going to tell you these things i guarantee you what we bring out and, 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 and uh you know to the people all right you're not going to hear it on the news all right they're going to talk about everything uh else under the sun you know but except for what's what's truly going on all right and not only do we bring it out but we link it to the holy scriptures and show you where the bible spoke of these things uh happening okay so low willingness be edifying unto you so again this is romans 9 and verse 13 says as it is written jacob okay meaning the 12 tribes of israel all right you so-called negroes hispanics and native americans okay as it is written jacob have i loved but esau esau the uh you know whose name was later changed to edom okay which means red people okay the edomites okay the wicked the border of wickedness like i said earlier in my other lesson okay the border of wickedness you know going back to the book of malachi all right but esau have i hated okay and there's a reason for that all right there's a reason for that this man is adverse to the ways of Yahabashim Yahushai. This man is the complete opposite. If the Heavenly Father tells you to do these things, he's going to tell you to do the opposite. Everything he, he does is, is adverse, okay? He is the adversary. He is the devil. He is Satan, and the manifestation of Satan in the flesh, okay, on this earth. And he does everything contrary to what the Heavenly Father says. So that would make him what? Not only an adversary, but he is the devil, man. <laughs> you know, and that's why we tell our people, you know, oh, it's all about love. You know, our people are so blind, man. That's why, hey, if our people, you have that type of mindset or you know people that think like that, stay away from them. Even if it's our own people, you need to stay away from them. They're, they're dangerous. That's a dangerous person because uh, I need to do a lesson also regarding the fact like, you know, you waking up to this truth, a lot of your family going to turn on you because they have they're not yours they're not your people's man your people's are those that are in this truth those that that you call kinfolk and stuff like that like i said the bible tells you they will turn they're going to turn you over they have been converted you know by esau he has their minds okay most of them probably don't went and took the jab y'all know what i'm talking about that thing that he was pushing they done went and got that he has their minds so they're gone man you know they're zombies you know, but if you you have eyes to see and ears to hear, hey man, you gotta hearken unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shot, man. Okay, so I'm gonna read this again, man. It says, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. All right, so as I said, keep that in mind. We're gonna go to the humble beginnings here real quick, okay? In the book of Genesis, I'm gonna read a little bit of this. All right, and let's see what we'll start at. All right, because we're going to go to the story of Jacob and Esau. And if you know anything about it, Esau came out first. They gave a description of him. They said he came out red all over and everything, which, you know, my previous lesson that I just did, I kind of showed you some imagery and stuff like that. 
because you know the sun is is doing a, a number on on the Edomites too, man. You know you got they, the sun sunburn, they getting skin cancer, all kind of things. You know which that goes back to Cain. A lot of people don't know that. All right, but uh, Esau is uh, Cain back in the regeneration. All right, but uh, you know uh, one of the things about it was he came out first. So you know normally you would think okay the firstborn he inherits you know. He got the not only the birthright, which he gave that up, you know, over a pot of stew or something like that from from Jacob. You know, when you read the story. All right. You know, which he lied and tried to say that Jacob uh, supplanted him uh, for that. However, uh, Jacob actually, uh, no, he sold it. He's like, you know, what profit? You know, he gave it up. He's like, what profit is that going to do me? You know, I'm, I'm about to die. I'm starving, you know. So he sold it for some food, man. Which, if you really look at the Edomites today, hey, that's why we have a thing called fast food. Like, really think about that word, fast food. Like, literally. <laughs> like, what do you, why you want your food so fast? Why can't you wait until it's done? Okay? Because the food that Jacob was making, he, it wasn't even done. And he was wanting some right then and there. You can't make this up, man. Like I said, you just got to have eyes to see and ears to hear. See, the Heavenly Father will put that that understanding on you man that's why we have fast food today okay which that stuff really ain't no good when you think about it you know that i i i heard something about uh taco bell that the uh taco uh taco bell is not even that you know like if you compare those tacos to the stuff that uh is made down there in mexico it's totally different they'll say man hey we don't make stuff like that you know what i'm saying that the meat and stuff they said i, I heard it's horse meat I don't know, you know what I'm saying, but I don't eat any of that. And you know, they always say like when you eat Taco Bell, you end up on the toilet and all kind of stuff. Cause man, you know, your body ain't supposed to be eating all that stuff, man. This man's just pumping out all types of meat and food. Like where is all that coming from? You know, things that make you go, hmm, you know. But anyways, you know, uh, let's see, you know, uh, Jacob, the, the prophecy was that Jacob was going to uh, Jacob was going to inherit everything pretty much. All right. The older was going to serve the younger. All right. But, you know, Esau ain't going to go for that. OK. So uh, let's see. We'll start at verse uh, 32. All right. Uh, this is when Esau Esau go in there after Jacob done went in there because Jacob went in and he was kind of like dressed as Esau, you know, portrayed him, you know, uh, their mother uh, who she loved Jacob. She loved Jacob more than she loved Esau because, you know, Jacob, Jacob was was, uh, you know, a righteous man. He was keeping the law, statutes and commandments. Esau uh, pretty much, you know, he was a hunter, but he also he did. He didn't uh, uphold the law, statutes and commandments. You know, he went, whatever they said do, he went and did the opposite, okay? So clearly, you know, he he wasn't, you know, and that's the thing. How about Shimei was shot, man? He loves obedience. He tells you to do something, you do it, okay? No questions asked, you know? And Esau's always got to question everything. Why I got to do, you know, you know, he's that type of person. And there's a lot of people like that today, all right? So again, we'll go ahead and start at verse 32, and it says, And Isaac his father said unto him, Who art thou? See that when he finally come in. And he said, I am thy son. Uh, I am thy son, thy firstborn. Esau, see, he's the firstborn. All right. And Isaac trembled very exceedingly because he's like, Oh shoot, you know, he done he thought he he thought uh, you know, Esau. So now he's realizing that it was Jacob that that went in there. All right. And said, Who? And he said, Where is he that taketh that that had taken venison, okay, and brought it, and brought it me, all right, it says, and I have eaten of all before thou camest, okay, and have blessed him, see, he blessed Jacob, all right, but it was prophet, prophesied it was going to happen, okay, and he says, yea, and, and, and he shall be blessed, see, he will be blessed, all right, so this is one of the reasons why uh, these Edomites, and keep this in mind too, man, this is why the Edomites are going to uh, hate you Israelites, because you're going to be blessed, okay? It don't look like it right now because we're at the bottom. Obviously, our people fell as a people. We became divided. We didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Uh, even to this day, a lot of our people ain't, ain't doing so. They're not hearkening unto the uh, prophets, okay? They're scoffers. You know, they're, they're uh, in all types of religions, 
uh, all types of manner of wickedness, okay? But there's a remnant, there's an elect, okay? And the Heavenly Father's man is going to bless them, man. They're going to uh, inherit the kingdom of God. They're going to be the uh, first fruits of the kingdom, okay? And Esau knows that and he wants to put a stop to that, okay? So again, it says, yea, and he shall be blessed, okay? And when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried, see that? With a great and exceeding bitter cry, <laughs> bitter cry, see that? And said unto his father, bless me, even me also, O my father. And he said, thy brother came with subtility and have taken away the blessing or thy blessing, okay? And he said, is it not rightly uh, named Jacob? For he has supplanted me these two times, which he didn't. You know, the first time he just said, hey, man, send me that birthright, okay, for the food. He could have said no and kept it moving, all right, but he he did. But you see, that's how Esau is, all right. And he says, he took away my birthright. He didn't take away. You gave it away, all right. And behold, now he have taken away my blessing, okay, which he did go in there and do that. But obviously the mother sent them in there, but the mom knew the prophecy, okay, that it, it was going to happen. All this, you got to understand the Heavenly Father orders your steps it was it was set up that way to happen okay exactly how it went down is, is the way the heavenly father set it up but remember the heavenly father said his ways are not our ways his thoughts are not our thoughts okay so who are we to question it okay so that's another thing but you know christianity was trying to say oh man jake was uh jacob was a snake and and this and that and stuff because who who controls christianity see those are things that make you go hmm all right when the Bible speaks nothing but great things about Jacob, talking about Jacob got next, his children got the kingdom, their, his children, his 12 sons, their names are, you know, the 12 tribes, I should say, okay, are, are written on, on the 12 gates of heaven, okay? So they mu it must be something special about these people, okay? But Christianity tries to say, uh, uh, throw uh, Jacob's name in the mud, all right? But that, that just shows you who's really uh, running that religion, okay? Esau, Edom, okay? He says, now he hath taken away my blessing, and, and he said, hast thou not reserved a blessing for me? And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, behold, I have made him thy Lord, see? All right, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants, okay? And with corn and wine, and I have sustained him, okay? And what shall I do now unto thee, my son? And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Okay, that just shows you the importance of a father, man. Okay, and then being able to bless your children like that. That's powerful, man. Hey, that's why it shows you, man, the things are not in order like it, it should be. Okay, imagine imagine that, that type of power. Like, imagine me having, you know, sons and I'm able, like, before I give up the ghost, which, you know, that's not going to happen in the kingdom. We're going to live. We ain't going to be dying. But, you know, just like now, you know, being able to just, you know, before you give up the ghost or something, you just bless your children, man. You know, you can speak blessings over them. And, and, and it come to pass because the Heavenly Father is dealing with you. That's heavy, man. Okay. All right. But back to this, it says, oh, my father, it says, and Esau lifted up his voice and wept. All right, and Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of hev uh, heaven from above. Okay, and by thy sword shall thou live, okay, and shall serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion, thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. Okay, and this is the key part. All right, it says, And Esau hated Jacob. See that? Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. All right. So I wanted to just go back to this humble beginnings. And that's just for you newcomers. Most people that are in this truth, we already know the story and stuff. And I could could have just, you know, mentioned a few things. But I like to go ahead and read it and bring it back to, to the humble beginnings. Like I said, these things are here for a reason for you to understand why you know things are the way they are and you want you want to know why certain um nations of people hate you like why are you hate us man we try to do this we try to do that you tell us to do this we do that we conform we be you know hey you know we listen we just try to be cool you know uh and down with you but meanwhile you hate us this is why it's it hey <laughs> you know it's this thing spiritual man this thing goes back because 
you are a blessed people. You don't you don't know who you are, but they do. Okay, even if they don't know, like like a your, your low level Edomite, but they spirit do. So they could just have a hatred on you, and they may not even know like that you the Israelites, but that's their the spirit that dwell in them does, and that's why that hatred shows. All right. But it's because you are blessed people and you're going to have many blessings. One of uh, one of the things that we're going to inherit, you know, as in uh, the Israelite man, you're going to uh, harness uh, power, true power, man, spiritual power, superpower. All right. So this is what inspired me to do this lesson. OK, one of the articles. All right. And then we're also going to get into the MOTB, which I did a lesson here just recently, but we're going to uh, bring out bring a, a little bit. Uh, out about it because for one you know when we talk about this man you got to talk about it because he pl he's playing a part in that all right what you're hearing his name a lot uh, lately in these articles and the media and stuff all right but uh i got this article and it says elon musk wants to give people superpowers okay i'll perform a programmer programmer okay and i guess they had a typo in the article but it says with his brain implants okay and I got a, another article. We'll get it. We'll get to it. But it pretty much is the saying. He done. Uh, he done put in. He has the second patient. All right. And they done implanted him with with the Neuralink uh, chip. All right. So hey, you know, prophecy is moving along, man. And it says Elon Musk wants his Neuralink brain computer uh, computer interface patients uh, to uh, outperform a programmer pro program uh gamer salaki i don't know I got a little tongue tied and says let's give people superpowers okay see the thing about it this man wants to he wants to be like the most high you hear about you read about that in, in second thessalonians how he wants to be like the most high and stuff like that plus he t you know when you go into the uh story you know uh, about lucifer talking about you know hey i will ascend in the heavens i will be like the most high that's the same thing hey they want to be like the most high okay and then he they also they ultimately they want to be us okay they want that blessing you know they want the blessing that was given that was given uh down to jacob all right jacob's gonna uh inherit uh the powers okay the kingdom all right living forever the spiritual powers the the uh uh the new bodies okay the indestructible bodies all right even Yahweh Shai, man, who the world calls Jesus Christ, said that we would do greater miracles than what he did. He walked on water. He did all kinds of things. You know, he was able to, to touch people and heal them. Okay? This man ha has has Rite Aid, CVS, which that stuff don't really heal you like that. Okay? It might do a little temporary relief, but you're, you're back feeling pain. And some of that stuff makes it even worse or turn you into an addict. Okay? Which, you know, the Bible tells you in the book of Job how these people are physicians of no value, okay? But Yahweh Shai was able to touch people and heal them, okay? We're going to be able to do those things in greater. He said greater things, okay? Power, man. That's power, all right? The angels got power, okay? So you And, and those are our brothers, our fellow, our fellow brothers, man. So you don't think you're going to inherit those things? This man wants those things, man. And see, and he's got some power now because he's ruling by way of Job 9.24. It tells you the earth was given into the hands of the wicked, as I said in my previous lesson. Okay? But he ain't he ain't got he's just got power on the left hand. But that's that's not that's not true power. That's not the real power. That ain't that ain't power, that ain't true power like, like what we're gonna get, man, by way of Yahweh Shimi Shah, man. Okay? So again, says Elon Musk wants to give people superpowers, okay? Outperform a pro game uh, gamer okay with his brain implants all right so you know on your own time you can read that article all right but uh we know better than that and that's why i said we're exposing this man all right this is second corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11 it says let satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices and we're not we're not ignorant of this man's devices man okay one of the things you got to know about Esau Edom is he's going to make it seem very, very good. Look, man, look at the miracles. Look at what it can do. Look at this. It's a miracle. This guy can move this with his thoughts. He was crippled. He, he couldn't move. And now all of a sudden he's able to do these things. Hey, man, they're going to make it look good and make people 
uh, you know, gradualism. That's another thing, gradualism. This is what Esau's, Esau's man, he's cold at this, man. You know what I'm saying? So this is what we're dealing with, all right? This man is same devil, same tactics, man. But he's going to make it seem good and make you want to uh, join it. Uh, join in on it. You know, you sign up. You gonna be you be one of them people in line. All right. Which the Bible says what? The simple believe of every word, but a prudent man. All right. Look well into his goings. All right. So Second Corinthians two eleven again it says, "Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices." All right. So you have that. Okay. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 9. Hey, I can't read that without bringing this out, especially regarding the MOTB. And like I said, I bring these precepts out every time I'm doing the Mark of, Mark of the Beast uh, lessons. All right. But like I said, we can't talk about the, the powers and all that without, especially when you're talking about, uh, you know, Mr. Musk. All right. Without bringing out the MOTB. OK, because that's a that's a prophecy that uh, we as in this truth, us Israelites are waiting on. OK. Because that's a heavy prophecy. This man is going to cause everybody, okay, to, to have to take that thing, okay? But if the, if, the, if the Heavenly Father is dealing with you, okay, he's going to keep you from that hour of temptation, all right? As I stated in that, in that lesson I just did recently, okay? I mentioned that in all my uh, MOTB lessons, okay? But this is 2 Thessalonians 2 and 9. It says, even him who's coming is after the working of Satan. So this is somebody... Who's coming after the working of Satan? They're gonna you're gonna do just like what Satan does, okay? And it says with all power and signs and lying wonders, okay? So this man's gonna do like uh Satan with all power. And why is that? Because he like I said, the earth has been given unto this man, okay? And he's given all that power. Satan's given this man this power, all right, to be able to do these things that he do, okay. To make it look like, look, we can do this, we can do that, okay? And that also puts this man in a, in a whole level of pride, a whole nother level. Hey, man, and, we, and like I said in the previous lesson, man, the Heavenly Father hates pride, okay? That's just going to make this man's fall even sweeter, man. I'm telling you, <laughs> all right? You know, the Bible talk about us, you know, blessed is that, you know, individual, and I'm roughly paraphrasing, but blessed is that person that, that lives to see the fall of his enemies, all right? And Lord willing, we be able to see that, okay? So I'll read this again. It says, even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, okay? So, hey, man, we're not ignorant of his devices. We know, man, it's, hey, it's, uh, you know, and plus uh, they were talking about in another article a while back, which I covered it, you know, how, how this thing could, could be hacked, okay? But it's not going to, I don't think it's going to be hacked. Is these people are gonna they might make it look like it, it is but obviously these people can, can control you okay once that thing is in you they, they're gonna be able to control you all right on a whole nother level you know this man already doing stuff without without the, the 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 chips and putting all that stuff in you this man has got got a uh, most of our people's minds all right so just think about when that thing get in you man okay all right, this is a precept to link up with, with uh, what I just brought out. This is Revelations uh, 13. We're going to start at verse 13, all right, and we're going to read a few verses on down, all right. It says, and he doeth great wonders, see that, so that he make a fire come down from heaven on earth in the sight of men, okay, because, you know, he set his nest among the stars, so he's able to do things, okay, and it's going to, uh, and it'll deceive the people, man, all right. Verse 14 says, and deceiveth them, see that? That dwell on the earth by means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. That's your Roman Empire. All right. All right. They were taken down and it healed. That's why you hear him say, you know, Roman, uh, the Roman Empire back or something like that. Or Roman reigns. Remember, I was just talking about that. All right. Roman reigns. Hey, the Roman Empire is back. These Edom, it's these Edomites, okay? All right. That's why when you look at the structures, it's the same thing. You know, the eagle was there, was the symbol of Roman Empire, okay? It's a symbol here in America as well. The same structures and everything. Uh, you had they had the Colosseums and stuff. They got the arenas out here. Hey, it's the same stuff. The Bible tells you in Ecclesiastes, nothing new under the sun. All right. 
Verse 15 says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Hey, the Bible also says if you take that thing, you're going to be uh, destroyed. You're going to go into the lake of fire. All right. Anybody that take it. Okay. All right. Verse 16, it says, and he causeth all. See that? He causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. All right. You see that? With uh, Neuralink, it, it's, uh, that he's been doing the uh, brain brain chips he's doing it in your mind okay you know like i said i said it in the previous lesson you had the uh what's his name uh claude swab man he said it in a video clip that uh which i can't play it because you know hey they'll try to come for my video but um he said it in, in a clip uh i forget the year it was but he said that uh all people are gonna have uh chips in their brain he said it's gonna be a time where, where everybody's gonna have it all right I'm telling you, man, these things, hey, you can't make it up. He clearly said that. But then when you try to show the video, play the video or something, then they try to come come for you and talking about, um, you know, uh, oh, that's false information and this and that. Hey, because they control. They control everything. See, they they watch the men of the Lord. They know the men of the Lord are, are, are is, uh, you know, us being watchmen. We're catching everything, huh? What do you say? You know what I'm saying? All kind of lessons are being brought out, edifying our people. And this devil got to gotta do that. That's his way to try to combat this truth. You know, try to deem it as false. All right. But the Bible says you can do nothing against the truth before the truth. Okay. You can't stop this. The Heavenly Father said it's going to go out throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. Verse 17 says, And that no man might buy or sell, say he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right. So, you know, this you won't be able to buy. You're not going to be able to participate in the society pretty much without that thing. In you, all right. That's going to cut everything off, man. The way that, that you think uh, how everything is right now, all that's going to come to a halt. And you're seeing all kind of things happen. You're seeing bank closings. They're telling you uh, that, uh, you know, eventually, you know, things going to go digital. They're trying to keep uh, they're trying to get people uh, from from stop, you know, coming to the banks. Everything going to be dealing uh, online and stuff like that. But that's even going to be a joke too, man. Because, hey, they can shut that down uh, anytime. Okay? You're seeing a lot of sites uh, being shut down. Some of these Bible apps were acting funny. You know? Because that's part of that famine of the word that's coming. That's in the book of Amos. All right? That's when the Heavenly Father begins to withdraw his spirit from this place. Because right now, the Heavenly Father has got his spirit here. Where he has poured it out upon all flesh. That's why things are being exposed on these social media platforms. That's why this devil wants to eventually shut it down. You can see the whole thing with these social media platforms was used to distract our people. Have our people doing folly. You know, which uh, you got a lot of our people still doing that. They do twerk videos. All kinds of weird stuff. You know, vanity. Okay. That's what he wants all of us. But however, we're on these platforms. We're pushing the gospel. We're pushing the truth. We're sharing information. We're edifying our people. And he don't like that. Okay? This devil don't like that. All right? But so eventually he's going to pull the plug on it. But uh, but that's the heaven. That's, uh, him doing that is the Heavenly Father's doing. Because the Heavenly Father said that, uh, like I said in the scriptures, that there will be a famine of the word. All right? But yeah, we won't be able to participate in this society without that mark. Okay? But one of the things about us, man, hey. You know, it is what it is, okay? That if, if that's what it is, that's what it is. But we are not taking it. There's just a certain spirit on the elect, okay? They are not going to uh, bow to this devil, okay? They're going to be like, nah, all right? We trust in the Heavenly Father. He's going to keep us, all right? The Bible says he got angels. He gives angels charge over us. There will be all types of miracles and things happening that we won't be able to explain, but he's going to keep us, Okay? You think the heavy fire going to leave you high and dry when you believe on him and, and serve him? All right. He's going to keep you, man. You got to have that type of faith, man. You have that strong faith. Man, the heavenly father is going to keep you. All right. And that's that's how you got to. That's the mindset you got to have. All right. Man, the faith of a mustard seed. OK. Don't trust. Don't bow to this devil, man. This man. This man didn't have no backbone. OK. He gave up his birthright. All right. 
And then uh, Jacob got him, which, like I said, that was prophecy to happen, okay? The Heavenly Father, man, he says he made a, a, a vessel for on, to honor and one for dishonor, okay? He tells you that in the scriptures, all right? And when he was talking about that, before he went into it, he was talking about what? Jacob and Esau, <laughs> all right? Because that's what the prophecy, when it's all said and done, all this prophecy, everything happening, it's all stem stems back to Jacob and Esau. That's what it's all about, okay? The righteous versus the wicked, okay? All right? And how the wit the righteous are going to overcome the wicked, okay? It don't look like it because this man is in power, you know what I'm saying? He's got all power right now, but the Heavenly Father is going to take this man down, okay? It's not by our own doing. There's nothing we can do. We don't have that strength in us. Okay, the Heavenly Father stripped us, but that's a good thing because, you know, that just so that we depend on the Heavenly Father. We call on Him, but not our own doing. You know how you hear some Jakes, oh, we need to band together. We need to band up arms and we can do this and do that. Now, that's not the mindset of us. We trust solely in the Heavenly Father, okay, by way of His Son, Yahweh Shai, okay, the Holy Angels. We believe in them, okay, and that these miracles are all right. They're going, they're going to uh, bring forth miracles and things, and they're going to uh, work in our favor, all right? So back to this, all right? And that no man might buy or sell, say he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Verse 18, here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for the number, for it is the number of a man, okay? And his number is 600, three score, and six, 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 six. And you see that number all over the place. They mentioned the net, the, the number. Uh, they show you, they show you who they are. You know what I'm saying? Satanists, all kinds of stuff, man. And it's always what these Edomites. They, 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 they love it. Okay, anything dark, they're the children of darkness. Okay, we are the children of light. Okay. So they show you who they are. It's just our people just don't want to see it because you want you're in that love everybody spirit. Okay, but. That's not that's not the case. You 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 love everybody, but but truly you hate your own people. You'll hold grudges with your own people. All right. Meanwhile, this man is setting to push a mark on on, on, on the world. All right. This is the word karagma, okay? And um let's see. Let's see. All right. And the number is G5482. All right, and the Death Strong's definition, it says a scratch or etching, okay, stamp as a badge of servitude. Yeah, man, you're going to be serving you, you, perpetual slavery under this man, okay, if you take it. All right, and it says, or sculpture, figure, statue, graven, mark. Look, mark, all right, which ult ultimately is a mark. He's going to cut you, cut you open, and it'll be put either in your, in your, your brain, your mind, your forehead, or in your hand okay but you know you're seeing a lot of them uh things where the, the, by way you could pay, pay with your hand put your hand up to the uh you know the little scanner or whatever and and you know i always show that that video clip too of that eve man where she was in that store and uh and she was trying to buy with cash which you know cat cash is, is, is it's almost out the window pretty soon i was talking about that african country that uh you can't even uh, use the uh, U.S. currency there right now. All right. They said uh, if you you caught try, trying to do that, you know, you can get 10 years in prison. OK, they're trying to get away from it and use their own currency. All right. When people are acting like that, you got to, you, you know, you should you, you need to start asking questions like, why is that? You know, because they 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 have to know that something is coming. OK. All right, and it's not good. But meanwhile, these guys going to make it seem as if it's a good thing. All right. So here's the article, okay, regarding the second individual that uh, received uh, the brain chip. All right. It says, second person with spinal cord injury gets Neuralink brain chip, and it's working. See that? Musk says, a second human has successfully been implanted with a Neuralink brain chip. All right. And founder Elon Musk says it's working very well. All right. And when you read about this man, this man's in everything, man. He's even doing stuff up here in space as well, you know. They had that, uh, I think it was the very first, I want to say it was the first Iron Man movie. It was either the first or second one. But I know that this man was in it, 
all right? They say, like, he's the real Tony Stark. This man is in everything, man, all right? And it's not a good thing. It ain't nothing to brag about. But, you know, a lot of these Edomites like this guy. They're like, oh, yeah, man, he's doing this and doing that and technology and stuff. Hey, man, it, it, it looks good, but that's how you deceive the people, okay? And this dude really just came out of nowhere. Nobody knew this guy like that, and he just popped up, all right? But, yeah, so I just wanted to show y'all that. All right, and this is pretty much the same as that other article, but uh, I just want to read the headline again. All right, it says Elon Musk says his brain chip patient will soon outperform a pro gamer, like I said earlier, then take a big old puff and said, Let's give people superpowers. Okay, you know, and, and even when you, and it's funny they show this picture when you look at the, the little thing on there. Hey, man, he got what? He got the goat head and all that. That's uh, Santanic, man. That's, that's Santanic. I think there's like even an upside down cross on, on that. Hey, these people show, they showing you who they are, man. All right. Okay. And this is what is the meaning of having superpowers? I just wanted to pop, show y'all this. It says a power or ability such as the ability to become invisible or to fly. Look at that. Of the kind, of the kind possessed by superheroes. Look, it says a superhuman power. Okay. So that's, that's heavy, man. All right. This is the book of Luke. All right. Chapter 10, verse 19 says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on uh, serpents and scorpions. All right. And over all the power of the enemy. See that? Okay. Because see, we got enemies. This guy's our enemy. When, when he said, I'm going to slay my brother Jacob, this dude has become your enemy, man. Okay. He broke that brotherly covenant. Okay. All right. This man is this man's trying to kill you, man. All right. He might smile in your face, but hey, the Bible tell you this man at war is in this man's heart. And plus his blessing was what? The sword? <laughs> Weaponry? All right. You can't trust this man. The Bible says never trust thy enemy. And he's he is your enemy. When you go into Psalms and the nations that 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 came band together to cut us off from being a nation, the first name mentioned was Edom. OK. So again, it says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and all over and, and, and over all the power of the enemy. OK, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So you see that? All right. Hey, man, the Heavenly Father is going to keep you, man. But he's going to give you power. OK. And you got to believe it, man. OK, this is Psalms 82 and verse six. It says, I have said ye are gods and all of you are the children of the most high. OK. All right, you see it lowercase g, by the way. <laughs> yeah, but you are gods, man. Okay? Now, that ain't something you just be all cocky and, and stuff like that. No. But, yeah, you you are uh, uh, princes of, and, and heirs, uh, you know, of the throne, man. You know, princes of the power, man. Yasharala. Okay? All right? We are, uh, we are gods, man. Yes. Even in the Bible, uh, what it say? You are guys, but what? You you shall die like men, okay? Because our people, man, our people just can't get it right, man. All right? But it's a blessing, man, to be woken to this truth, man. And Lord willing, we be of that precious number. Because we know that the Heavenly Father has a remnant in the elect, all right? That will be delivered and will be the first fruits of the kingdom, okay? Like I said, Lord willing, we be of that precious number. So again, it says, I have said... All right, let's let this go by. All right. I have said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high. Beautiful. Love that scripture. All right. So back to this man and his devices. All right. Because, you know, with these devices, he's like, yeah, this is my plan. Because I, I my, my lesson was called um, something to the degree, I think, like the MOTB or whatever. It's Esau's end game pretty much which it is that's the end all be all he wants you to he's gonna try to get you to take that mark man okay that's him coming down with that great wrath all right but the heavenly father man is going to lift up uh standard against this man which keep that in mind all right but uh this is joe 5 and 12 okay it says he disappointeth the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise their enterprise is their new world order You'll hear them say that a lot too. New World Order, their NWO. Yep. Their New World Order. All right. Order out of chaos. They they want the chaos. 
they know like the whole money collapse and stuff they want that to happen they want it because the the MOTB the mark the currency is going to be linked with that like everything's going to be like you having this mark all right you you'll be able to buy that's why i said no man will be able to buy or sell without the mark so they 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 want this to crash they're not you know they might pretend and say oh no please don't don't you know keep using the dollar no they want all of that to crash because they want that they want they uh they have the plan of of the mark you know uh the currency being linked with the mark all right but the heavenly father is going to put a damper into all their stuff man this is again Joe 5 and 12 says he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise all right and that with that man that's going to make a, a man what mad okay that's going to make a man angry furious want to come down with great wrath okay which he is going to do that this devil is going to come down with great wrath upon who the children of Israel because he knows that he had but a short time all right so this is Revelation 12 and 12. It says, Therefore rejo rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. All right? There's bounds he cannot pass. All right? So that's going to make him come down with great wrath knowing that his time is short. All right? And like I said, he's going to come down on the children of Israel. Okay? Especially those that have the testimony of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. All right. But like I said, the Heavenly Father, man, is going to lift up a standard. He's going to give us power, man. All right. This is Isaiah 40 and verse 31. It says, but they that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint. OK. And uh, see, it says mount up with wings like eagles. All right. Let's go back up here to the power powers. All right. Would it say that a power or ability such as ability to become invisible or to fly superpowers of the kind possessed by superheroes? OK, superhuman power. All right. So you see that? See how you can connect those dots? Let's read this again. But they that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. OK, that could be like flash. You're going to be running. <laughs> Hey, you know, a lot of our, when you read the accounts in the Bible of, of some of our forefathers, they had what we would call spiritual power. You know, the things that David was able to do, Samson, okay, King David, okay, and many other men. Hey, Moses, the stuff that Moses was doing, that's spiritual power, okay, all uh, put, up, put uh, on them by the Heavenly Father, man. Heavenly Father can do these things, okay? Some of the accounts, you've seen some of the stuff that the angels were doing. Spiritual power, man. All right? So again, it says, But they that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Woo, beautiful, okay? All right? But like I said, this man is still going to try to come down with great wrath because that's his, that's the, uh, his last resort. He ain't going to have nothing else. He's like, oh, man, we got to take them out. And I think ultimately he thinks that uh, he he's he's wanting to get these uh, other uh, nations pissed off at him. So what happens is when they start sending off those nukes over here, I guess he's hoping that 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 all that's going to take us out. OK, which when they hit over here, it's going to destroy who it's intended to destroy. All right. But the elect, it says that, uh, you know, they're not even going to, they're, uh, they're going to be some that don't taste death. Okay. And that's going to be your elect. All right. But not only that, even if someone did get taken out, the Bible says the dead will rise first. So these are things that you got to uh, always keep in mind. All right. Because see, his plan is, yeah, they all be taken out. Prophecy uh, over with all the Israelites. You know what I'm saying? And while he's hiding in while they're hiding in their comfortable bunkers and they're going to rise up, you know, from the ashes. You know, that's their, their little slogan, too, as well. That Phoenix rising from the ashes and stuff. All right. Whatever. <laughs> no, y'all going to get that Jeremiah 16 and 16 when you get pulled out of those bunkers. All right. Going straight into captivity. OK, but uh, this is Isaiah 59 and 19. Because like I said, they're still going to come with that great wrath, man. If you powers and no powers. All right. 
that's that's the last result that's all he yay it's all he can do all right so it says so they shall fear the name of the lord from the west all right and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood the spirit of the lord shall lift up a standard against them the heavenly father gonna lift up a standard against esau man okay that's beautiful all right and why is he gonna do that Second Ezra 6 and 9, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Okay, and like I said earlier, all right, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. The Heavenly Father loves Jacob. He loves the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay, he loves his people. Okay, all right. It says, it says our people are going to, uh, are going to, you know, our people are going to be saved. It also says what? We are a world without end. Okay. We got the kingdom, we got, uh, you know, the, the, the spiritual power, the new bodies, the law, statutes, and commandments going to be written in our inward parts. We're going to be in league with the animals, okay? We're going to teach the uh, nations. We're going to have the heathen uh, nations for our inheritance, all right? Uh, the uttermost parts of the earth, okay? We'll have access to that, okay? It says, in my father's house is many mansions. Man, you're going to have access to so much that that just goes above and beyond anything that you can think of man and you know in your mind okay you won't even be able to words just can't even comprehend uh you know uh bring this into reality you know what we, what's coming you know it's it, it's gonna be something man all right so it's uh man we are in some uh beautiful times man you know what a time to be alive man Okay, this is what our forefathers, our ancestors, man, prayed for when they was in that hard bondage and captivity. This is what they prayed for, man. All right. For this day, man, to see the fall of our enemies. Okay. And the deliverance. Okay. The second coming, man, of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, to deliver us out of this, this captivity, this hellhole, man. Okay. But you got to come back to the Heavenly Father in these last days, man, before it's too late. Okay. <laughs> Because, you know, like I said, all hell's going to break loose, okay? And this devil, like I said, he, he wants it to happen, you know? Because ultimately he thinks that while all hell's breaking loose, all of us will be destroyed. But see, the Heavenly Father is going to save us and deliver us and keep us from any hurt, harm, and danger. I just showed you in scriptures. He's going to give power, man. You'll be able to tread on serpents and scorpions, man, okay? That's not, just that's not talking about, like, actual the animal, okay? Some of these people, man, out here are serpents. They're scorpions, okay? And they're not going to be able to do anything to you, man, okay? Bible says no weapon formed against thee shall prosper, okay? But you got to resist this devil, man. If you got a spirit on you that want to take that MOTB, man, you better pray that thing off of you, okay? Do not take it or you're going to be, uh, you know, you got one, a one-way ticket, man, to that uh, lake of fire, all right? So, Lord willing, you have found this lesson here edifying. I want to give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. And shalom to you, brothers and sisters out there. Until the next one, shalom.